You're really sure you want me to do this? That's something that I can trust you with. Move in the poo. Hey, Dev, get your hair out of the poo. Let's cut a little smaller. We train animals. Go get it. <laughs> We're the Trasans. This is my wife, Carol. My daughter, Devin. We train animals for film and commercial production. I love being an animal wrangler. I love being behind the scenes on the movie. Everybody always loves it when there's an animal on set. And you're kind of a hero for bringing it. Some of the films and television shows we worked on, my favorite was Nightmare on Elm Street, also Zombieland. We got to do the crazies with Timothy Oliphant. A chimpanzee for the television series Drop Dead Diva. We recently did a promo for the Weather Channel with a 550 pound pig. We worked on Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. It's always something different. Greg and I have an interesting relationship. We're together 24-7, which obviously is fabulous on one hand, and on the other hand, it's like sometimes we want to wring each other's necks. Why do you need to do that? Because that's what I need to do, so that's what I'm going to do. I guess you could say that Carol and I have sort of a volatile relationship, and we do fight. No, 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 yeah, we're not going to have an down. argument about what we're going to do. Sure we are. I like to say that Carol rarely does what I tell her to, but she's usually right. No, you want me to do the squatting, and then you're going to do right. it. Okay. Huh. Devin is an interesting combination of the two of us. She's got a mind of her own, and she's very interested in the animals. I like animals, horses, donkeys. I like lizards. Snakes are a little scary, but there's one snake that's nice that I like. It's Googles. We've kind of raised our daughter like the Jungle Book. She's pretty much grown up with, you know, four-legged siblings or two wings. They're all my family. We really believe in the power of reinforcement. There's a... It really works on animals. And kids are not a whole lot different. Yeah, just do through or around. The training techniques that we use for the animals does carry over into our parenting. Nice throw, Deb. Yeah! My work always bleeds over into my personal life because Greg and I live together and we work together. And we're generally doing a lot of the training with the animals at our facility. So it's pretty much nonstop. On a day-to-day -day basis, we have to move the sheep from one pasture to another. It's just part of the work that we do. And one of the ways we do that with the sheep is we use the dogs. And occasionally- Do you want to just stand and talk on the camera while I slap No, you Carol. I want to help you, Carol. Then act like it. All you have to do is ask. Oh, it's much easier to move an animal when there's two people. I'm pretty sure that I was just moral support. She could have done it. Our house is constantly full of animals, and it does get crazy. It's noisy. They're always underfoot, <laughs> and we're constantly having to clean up. Don't forget the wet spot. In the 10 years now that I've known Greg, he has never cleaned a stall once. Usually, I'm the one bush hogging. I'm always the one taking care of the animals. I start in the barn at 7, and I don't finish at the barn until 7 at night. Don't look in my house, but you can eat off my barn floors. I'm out. He was in it for one, but I think one cured him of any stall cleaning bug that he might have again. <laughs> Being an animal wrangler is really an exciting business. We've always got new challenges, different animals, different people. And of course, we get to work on a bunch of different productions. When the phone rings, it's always, you know, I'm always, Greg, what is it, what is it? It's nice. I like it because my dad wrangles, my mom wrangles, and sometimes they feed the cats. What are you, I thought, you told me you were going to get on the back. No, I did not say I was going to get on the back. You told me not to get on the back, Oh, darling. I didn't hear that. Easy, Mary.